All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how you can play your Amazon Games Launcher games with a PlayStation 4 controller by launching Amazon Games through Steam so you utilize Steam's built-in uh, drivers for different controllers. So to do this, the first thing we have to do is close out of the Amazon games launcher entirely. So we're just going to go ahead and close that and make sure it is completely closed. Otherwise, this won't work. So once you've got the Amazon games launcher completely closed, then you can go to Steam and you can either open up the library or go to games and find an add non game or non steam game to my library button up here or on the library page itself, in the lower left-hand corner, there's an Add Game button. You can click on that, and there's an Add a non-Steam Game button down there, too. Click on one of those, and this should show a list of all the other software on your computer. You can basically launch anything you want, almost anything you want, through Steam that's currently installed on your computer. But I want Amazon. So if we type in Amazon, we will be able to find the Amazon Games Launcher right here and click it. And then we will add selected programs to our list of stuff. So here underneath of installed games, you have the Amazon Games Launcher. Here we will launch this through here. And that will give Steam control over the launcher and therefore control over games launched with the launcher. Now, before we go into the game, let's go to Steam, Settings, and then here in the left-hand sidebar, you'll see the controller settings, and hopefully it's gonna detect my controller when I plug it in. You can also do this with Bluetooth if you want. The process is just requires you to connect it with Bluetooth. It's nothing really fancy. It's just easier for this tutorial to do it with a cable. And then once you've got this bad boy plugged in and your controller shows up here at the top, I gave mine a name because I'm fancy. Uh, you can just kind of thumb through a lot of these different settings. Most of them are pretty safe, straightforward, and self-explanatory. Do you want to use Nintendo button layout? Probably not because it's a PlayStation controller, but you really just want to make sure that you've got PlayStation controller support enabled on this little pull down. And then the rest of it is going to mimic a Xbox controller so that when you're in the game, no matter if the game supports a PlayStation controller or not, it'll always function correctly. So from here, we can close this and then we can go to our installed games in the Amazon Games Launcher and we can launch Space Marine. And then even though I haven't started a campaign in this game yet, I can move the buttons around using the game controller, both the, the arrow keys and the, the joysticks. So we should be good to go from here to play Space Marine 2 if I really wanted to. Or I can just quit out of the game entirely. So that's it for that one, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you launch the Amazon Games Launcher using Steam in order to make use of the game controller drivers for Steam, which support things like generic uh, USB controllers that have their own third party like drivers. And sometimes actually a lot of the time the drivers suck, butt. so it's a good idea to use Steam's. Uh, it'll also work for Pro Controller. It'll work for PlayStation 5. It'll technically work for the Switch Joy-Cons, but the Switch Joy-Cons are not super great on PlayStation or on PC, so I would recommend against that, but mileage may vary for everyone if you want to give it a try. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody. Have a good one.